Are you thinking of building a custom home? Watch until the end of this video for the exact step-by-step -step process for how to plan your custom home project successfully. Hey everyone, I'm Kathy Yoon, custom home designer, architectural technologist, and founder of Phase One Design. This is the exact same process our firm has developed and used over the last 12 years, and now I'm going to share this with you. Step one, develop your budget range. Why is this important? I know you wanna dive right into the design of a custom home, but the one most important thing that you need to do before anything is know how much your house should cost. First and foremost, expect a range. What do I mean by this? So a lot of people go into this process and they want a number to the penny of how much their house is going to cost or something pretty close to that. That, my friends, I'm sorry to say, but it is not realistic at this point in time because you don't know what you're building, you don't have a set of plans, and there's just too many unknowns. But that's okay, that's normal. What you do wanna know, though, is what your budget range should be. So you should have a low to high range of how much your custom home could potentially cost. Now, here's the key. You need to make sure that you are comfortable with both the low end and the high end of the range. So how do you get this? Talk to experts. So the two experts that can help you with this are a custom home designer, such as myself, or a custom home builder. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this in later steps, so we'll come back to this. Step two, know what you can build. So this particular step talks about what you can actually build on your land. So regardless of what you want to build on your land, every single city that you wanna build in has what is called a municipal zoning bylaw or some iteration of it. What this means is that the city will dictate what you can and cannot build on that lot. So obviously that is very important for you to know before you go any further into design. So I have made a separate video just to talk about permits and knowing what you can build on your lot. I provided a link below, but what you need to know for the uh, purposes of the eight step planning process is that you just need to know what you can build on the lot, on, on your lot. So how do you do this? A few different tips I will share with you. First and foremost, you can go and visit your city's planning department. So you can either go there in person or call. I always like to recommend actually going there in person. That way, you know, you have their full undivided attention. Go there with your address. If you have something like a survey, a real property report, or some sort of like plot plan that shows your site dimensions, uh, a city planning person will likely be able to help guide you through just kind of the high level things of how big you can build your house and any zoning bylaws that would affect what you can build. The other way you can do this is to get a professional site visibility review. So what is this professional site feasibility review? It's when a professional custom home designer, someone such as myself, will actually sit down, look at the site based on the address, and will be able to do a zoning review and tell you exactly what you can build on the lot, what you cannot build on the lot, and flag anything that could be hazardous to the project. Step three, document your wish list. There are so many different details to a design of a custom home. What's really, really smart is to sit down and start documenting all of these details as you find them, because I guarantee you, you will not be able to remember all these things in your first meeting with your designer or your builder. So you want a collection point for all of this information. So there's two parts to this. So the first part is all the photographs and everything like that that maybe you found online, maybe you have photos of actual houses in your neighborhood, whatever that looks like. Take all these photos and either put them in a file if you like to rock it old school, or if you have like a, like a digital folder that you want to put everything in, that works too. The second thing is the wish list. So the wish list is you literally writing down what it is that you want. So I always like to tell people, you know, put it on your phone. You always have your phone with you. So if you think of something randomly as you're grocery shopping or in the middle of the night, you can pull out your phone and basically just add that to your wish list. This will come in handy later. Step four, develop your final design. So this is the really exciting part. This is where you are going to take all the homework that you did in step three, and now working with a custom home designer, your custom home designer is going to be able to take all of this information and put it together into your ta-da custom home design. 
So this is a really exciting process. Um, we It is quite extensive, so I have actually made a separate video for this, and again, I will provide the link below. But the outcome of step four is basically a beautiful custom designed home for you. So here's some images of some sketches, design development uh, graphics that uh, illustrate what happens during the process. You can see a design progresses from hand sketches to more developed floor plans. And same thing with the exterior. Very often we start with a hand sketch and then you end up at the end of the day with a beautiful, beautiful home. Step five, finalize your budget. So in step one, we talked about developing your budget range, but now that you have your land, now that you've developed and finalized your final design, now you can finalize your budget. You will at this point have a set of plans that a builder can look at, circulate to their trades and put an actual number two. You have something tangible to give them. So in step five, what needs to happen is you need to make sure that you're comfortable with the final budget before going further. Who is involved in this process? That would be the builder, the custom home designer, and yourself. If there are any tweaks that we need to make to the, to the custom home design at this point in the game, this is where we make it. Coming out of step five, you should have a budget that you're very comfortable with, a design that you love, and now you're ready to go into the next step. Step six, finalize technical details. So finalized technical details talks about all these other, we call them third party consultants that are involved in the process that are very necessary. So for example, uh, there needs to be an energy advisor in some municipalities, your structural engineer. Um, there's a long list of them. You don't need to worry about this as a homeowner. Typically your custom home designer will take care of these details for you in conjunction with your custom home builder. But I am huge on education. so. In the interest of sharing knowledge, um, just want to make you aware that this is a step that needs to take place. Step seven, secure your permits. So depending on which municipality you're building in, there might be one permit or there might be two permits in some municipalities, even more. But at this stage in the game, you should have all the permits that you need to actually start construction. And this is a super, super exciting part of the process as you get to start construction. Yay. We literally share like that when we see this happen. Step eight, start construction. So start construction, that's pretty straightforward. That's when all the action starts happening with the custom home builder. One thing that I always like to recommend before uh, going into construction is what I like to call a pre-construction meeting. So what this meeting is, is it's essentially a debrief meeting between the custom home designer and the custom home builder and their team. Because remember, up until this point, all the trades on the suppliers, mostly the trades, that are going to be involved in your project haven't really had that much communication directly with the custom home designer. So if there's any questions with regards to framing or any details that they need in order to build the project successfully, this is their opportunity to ask those questions. It's better to ask those questions in a meeting environment or in a boardroom rather than frantically asking these questions as they are building the house. So I always like to recommend a pre-construction meeting which should be set up with a custom home builder and the custom home designer. So there you have it. That is the eight step planning process for your custom home build. Now you have everything that you know and you know exactly which steps to follow for success. I've written a custom home planning guide, which details everything that I just spoke about, plus a little bit of bonus information as well. And I provided a link below. So feel free to follow that link to download it. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. And I always love hearing from you guys. Please provide your comments on what future topics you would like me to talk about. And of course, be sure to subscribe and push the bell. It will notify you every Tuesday when there's a new video uploaded. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.